Welcome. Uh, my name is Bill Maurer, and I am a professor of anthropology here at UC Irvine and also the Dean of Social Sciences. And, and I'm Don Patterson. Welcome to the class. I teach in the uh, School of Information and Computer Sciences, Donald Brent School, and I'm a faculty member in the Informatics Department, and I have a joint appointment in Computer Science as well. And we thought we would just start by telling you a little bit about our own background and how we got interested in Bitcoin and came to offer this class and then say a few words about what we hope you'll get out of the class. So um, I can start. Uh, I am an anthropologist who studies money. And if you think about um, anthropology, you may know that anthropologists for years have been looking at the things that people use to store value and to transmit value to one another. Everything from shells to sticks of tobacco to special kinds of cloth to coins and the paper currency that we use today. And um, I first became interested in Bitcoin pretty much right when the first, um, the classic Satoshi paper um, came out. And I started watching what was happening with Bitcoin with some of my colleagues in computer science and in anthropology, because we saw this as potentially um, a next stage in the evolution of money. So let's see, how did I come across it? Um, I've traditionally done work in sensor systems and mobile device uh, programming and uh, uh, development of systems and, out and software for mobile devices. And um, I, wasn't, I wasn't, didn't find out about it exactly right at the beginning. I think I kind of found out about Bitcoin uh, about the time the people in Slashdot uh, found out about it. So it was sort of like the first wave of alpha geeks that found mm -hmm. out about Bitcoin. And I, I came at it, um, I was interested in it because of the way it provides uh, a potential um, a systematic robustness to the financial system. I was doing some work in um, developing countries and uh, thought that there was something very interesting here about the way it could be used to help support people that were living in places where infrastructures were um, coming and going uh, um, it, uh, over time. It's both technical infrastructures and social infrastructures. And we thought we would say a little bit about what we hope that you'll gain from this class. Now, um, none of us can predict where Bitcoin is going to go. None of us can predict where cryptocurrencies in general are going to go. But we think that Bitcoin um, offers an opportunity to think about a few core issues that we think are going to remain issues for society beyond Bitcoin. So um, just to say a couple of words about those issues. First of all, we hope that at the end of this class you'll have a better appreciation of money itself. Um, we use money every day. We use physical instantiations of currency like uh, paper banknotes and coins. We also use digital monies every day when every time we use a credit card or buy something online. Money is a long and uh, has a long history and is sort of a, a long problem for human societies. How is it that we're going to measure and record and store and transfer wealth? And Bitcoin really opens up an opportunity to think about money. From a, from a technical standpoint, Bitcoin really builds on a whole bunch of different technologies that have been around, including um, basic cryptographic protocols. And we'd hope that by the end of this course, you would at least be uh, proficient in being able to discuss what sort of properties some of the cryptographic protocols have that Bitcoin is based on. But in addition to those um, just building on some technologies, Bitcoin has also introduced a few technologies that are central to the way in which uh, the Bitcoin transfers and transactions happen. And, and like Bill said, we may, Bitcoin may or may not be the um, digital currency of the future, but some of the things that have been innovated in the development of Bitcoin probably will continue, if not in Bitcoin, in other alternative coins, or as we'll see by the end of the course, maybe some other kinds of transactions that we do online um, that aren't strictly about transfer of wealth and transfer of money, but can really use the same um, infrastructure that's been developed in order to support Bitcoin along the way. So by the end of the course, I hope that you would be able to describe some of the ways in which uh, those innovations could be used for other purposes as well. And finally, um, we're hoping to give you an overview of an insight into the payments industry. Now, the payments industry is something that's really not talked about very often. It flies under the radar, um, even though it's a huge business and um, it impacts just about everything we do every day. The payments industry basically consists of those businesses that provide for the transfer of money from point A to point B or from person A to person B. So for instance, the credit card companies and the credit card networks, all of the other um, companies and infrastructures that support the credit card companies and networks, the wire service agencies, things like American Express, 
things like um, loyalty schemes, loyalty points and coupons, all of these things together comprise the payments industry. And we hope that by the end of the class, you'll have a better understanding of that industry, a little bit of, of insight into how it works, um, about some of the opportunities in that industry for innovation or for disruption that perhaps Bitcoin represents. And, and also um, a good handle on some of the, the political issues and the consumer protection issues that the payments industry raises. So those are the things that we hope that you'll, you'll glean from this class, an understanding of money, an understanding of cryptography, an understanding of the payments industry. Um, Bitcoin basically provides us the occasion as scholars and as, as people in society today to be thinking about each of these sectors which we see as crucially important for the world going forward. Yeah, it's, a, it's an intersection of all kinds of different spheres of life. And that's also why we thought we would teach this class together, to have somebody from social sciences and somebody from computer sciences um, working together to tackle this question and um, hopefully to spark some new insight um, in you and with all of us. Yeah, so the conversation that we've been having for the last two or three years, uh, we are hoping to bring you guys into it as well. And we look forward to participating with you in some of the discussions and trying to hash out what is it that makes Bitcoin so interesting and maybe what are some aspects of Bitcoin that aren't so new. Um, and we'll talk about that together. Yep. So with that, welcome to the class. <laughs>